Welcome to part two of Super Sunday, everyone. Jamshedpur and Kerala Blasters take centre stage now as the battle intensifies to get points on the board in the Hero Indian Super League Edition 7. As you've heard, Valskis will be looking to get back on striking track up front in this Owen Coyle 4-3-3 formation. Kerala's net is guarded by Albino, who's saved three penalties already this season. He will be Kuna is a coach under pressure. There's Raj Jassal that leads the side out today to curl up last the sides that do have their backs to the wall. The results earlier on, John, means that they are now bottom of the Hero Indian Super League table. So a win and a victory here is a must for the curler blasters, otherwise they will finish the day rooted to the bottom. Well, this lot, Jan Shebpour, of course, they are mad there as well. They have rock concerts before their games, and they'll be hoping that that man, the rock star, will be able to hit the back of the net tonight. Valskis has gone three games without scoring and needs to find those scoring boots again. Another fascinating confrontation, in case you didn't know, of Jamshed Peru, the home side here, are in all red and attacking the goal to our left. Kettle of Blasters in all white. With the likes of the Grande and Isaac and Fitzgerald, uh, here's the first effort off the base of the upright as well. Well, that all seemed to happen in an absolute flash, and it was Aniket who thundered in the shot and it hit the base of the post. Hooper will try to find out where Murray's going. Linking in terror, it's a brilliant ball from Hooper and a terrible finish from Murray. That should be now in the net and the ball should be bouncing out and the player should be running back to celebrate. He's got to score there, John. He has got to score. It's a magnificent run from Murray. Hooper does really well here. Oops, oh, and Hartley's mistake has uh, let Murray in and Hooper will be racing forward to try and get on the end of this. It's, well, it's deja vu time, but it's the Hooper who puts it over this time. Why can't they put the ball beneath the crossbar? Because he's played it just behind him, John. This is a mistake from Hartley, doesn't deal with the ball and then slips. But look at the run from Hooper. And to be fair, to be fair to Murray, he's had to wait as long as he could for the optimum moment to Hooper get there. He has one look, he has two looks, he knows that that's where it is. It's just a fraction under his feet and behind him. There are five in white inside the 18-yard area, and it's into the net from Costa. He flings himself at the ball, he flings himself into the net. He's injured himself, but, well, not being unkind, but does that really matter so long as it's not a bad injury? Because the Kerala Blasters have taken the lead here against Jamshedpur with a perfect set piece and it's a first goal in the Hero Indian Super League for the big man from Zimbabwe. Jamshed Paul made a quick response, they'll be hoping Valskis can be on the end of this set piece for them. And he may be, he is, and it's a thrilling save. And uh, well, congratulations to keeper Albino for keeping that one out, it was a thumping header from Valskis. What a save, what a save that is. Perfect delivery, Valskis with a free header. That's a big, strong wrist, John. Will be Valskis with the right foot, the man from Lithuania. What did you just say? What did you just say? <laughs> We've been waiting all season for that to happen, for anybody from the 11 clubs that make up the Hero Indian Super League 7, and in the 35th minute of match 54, we have a goal scored direct from a free kick by the Golden Boot winner of last year. And that man is Marius Valskis. Take a bow, Mr. Macefield. <laughs> which could yet finish with something positive for, for Ken Lewis. Hooper crosses a great ball in! Oh, it's a fantastic save! Well, uh, Hennish has uh, got down to make the save here. Great ball in from Hooper. And I can't believe that uh, Murray hasn't scored because what a super save. Welcome back to the Tilak Maiden Stadium in Vasco here in Goa in southern India. And the equalising goal coming from the Lithuanian. Valskis, the man who won the Golden Boot uh, last season. That was ISL 6, this is ISL 7. It's Monroy with very little space, a little chip from him. The referee is going to wait here before he decides what to do. He uh, is allowing play to continue, but he might take a card any second. And he's right, done the right thing as the referee, and uh, that's good officialdom. Now the card will come out. Now 
can he catch? Wriggles away. Alex will surely push the ball left. That's what he does. It will be Jackie Chan. Oh, it's off the inside of the upright. I don't think he did cross the line. You get a feeling, don't you, whether a ball has or not. Jackie's had absolutely no luck so far in his goal scoring. The jump shed. But it's beyond Valskis as well. It's gone for a goal kick. That's one of those. He's hit the frame. It's come down. Could have gone in just as easily as he stayed out. And hit the post. You watch it, it's a crossbar, then the post, John. There, it's not gone down directly, it's hit, it's hit where we'll see from here, look. One, two, no. Well, we'll be able to show Owen Coyle that one a little bit later on and say definitely it didn't. <laughs> it's Jam Shampoo, always involved in these incidents, seemingly. Rick is doing his stint as a full-back, allowing Jackie to get forwards and cause problems. And Jackie was caught there by Pereira off the ball after he played the ball, was he? There's Laura Tara, if it's Laura Tara, he's off. Smashed it, he's going to book him, that's it, he's off. He has to be. On his return to the side, he's had a few opportunities this season, so a disconsolate look on the face of Rua Tara here. It's all going wrong again for Kiba Vicuna. Oh, it's a big chance here, oh, it must surely be a lead again. They are back in front, and Murray has come up goods again here. That was uh, the easiest chance he's had, and it's another goal immediately after a drinks break. But Jordan Murray doesn't care when he scores, so long as he scores. And that's exactly what he's done. Well, players do seem to turn off when they stop and just have those refreshments and uh, Owen Coyle there is not happy you can see that by the way he's sitting down what do we say about goalkeepers pushing the ball back into the middle of play and that's exactly what Rennes does but take nothing away from Murray who's in the right place at the right time and makes the right connection this time Alskis loses the ball refs says play on and they could seal it here if they can finish the job this time and I don't think he got it quite right Oh, well, we've been a horrendous error again. And this time, Murray's got a double from nowhere because of disastrous goalkeeping once ahead. This time, it's Rehenish. We said he's capable of making horrendous mistakes. Owen Coyle cannot believe it. Kerala Bastards are on their way to three points, it would seem. Certainly does seem that way, John. I mean, that's the keeper's ball all day long. But you've got to get hold of it. You've got to make sure that you cuddle that ball like your life depends on it. He's flapped his hands at it, and it's just pushed it away into the path of Murray. And I tell you something, Murray will never score an easier goal in his life. Vanskis will try and create a shooting opportunity for himself, maybe. Instead of slipping to William, he has support here from Mobashir. Vanskis is in, it's 3-2, it's not over yet. There are goals of plenty here in Vasco. He's got a couple of them, Vanskis. Murray's got a couple too. It's 3-2 to the Kerala Blasters. And are they going to be able to see this one through or not? That is the million dollar question, John. Again, good work. Murray will take his time, he's got support left and right. This might finish the job once and for all, he's taking his time as well. Took too long, still they're here, still the chance of a fourth goal exists. Oh, they're all over the place, it's, they're scrambling around and finally it is tipped over the top of the crossbar. Murray is denied a threesome. And, and a clue how much longer there is to go now, even though we've had 96 minutes plus. The referee might have on at least another two. Or he might not. He might not. Is, uh, is that the final whistle? Valskis did his best. He got on the mark twice again. He's back on the goal standard with those uh, two strikes for Jamshed Poor. But at the end of the day, it's the Kerala Blasters and Kimo Vakuna who are the happier. They've won here by three goals to two.